All right, all right, all right, Aries. Keep it there, please. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Thank you to every last one of my OGs, to all of my newbies who have clicked this video, who have liked, shared, or subscribed to me, Rashiva Vera. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Um, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been booking personal and private readings. We have a whole bunch of new decks that's about to come through. As you can see, we already have the vintage key from the beautiful Miss La Divination that was purchased. Um, thanks to you guys' support. And we also have four new decks coming in. So, and I finally, finally, finally got that Careers Oracle deck. Um, it is the counterpart to the love oracles deck that we have here so i cannot wait to get that deck and y'all know i've been talking about that deck for forever so again thank you guys for all of the love and support if you guys would like to book a personal reading or if any of these videos resonate and you want to send some support to the love have it be a dollar or two or um if you want to send some love donations by um, checking out the amazon wish list and sending the deck on into the family like Thank you again for all of the support. You guys can check the About tab on my YouTube page in the description in this video. If you want to book a personal or private reading, I only do video readings on Instagram or Google Hangouts. So my pricing list and all of that stuff is also listed in the About tab and in the description. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, shoot me a message over on Instagram about the booking. And if you don't have Instagram, email me at scorpionres at gmail.com. I'll help you get all set up for Google Hangouts. It's a free, easy app to download. The only thing that you really need to exchange with me is our email and mine's again at scorpionres at gmail.com. All right, Aries, let's get into the prayer. Father God, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries. Please let the light shine down on us, Father God. The sign of Aries. I'm seeing the sun card. I'm seeing warmth. I'm seeing happiness. I'm seeing evolution, okay? I'm definitely seeing the sign of Aries evolving right now. I'm feeling the warmth on their back. A couple of stacks in their pocket. They're feeling fun, festive. They're ready to go out and play. Like, it's the, it's, it's the holiday season, so so like Aries is like getting into the mode of just like happiness and joy and just rejoicing just right now and just like family and just love and creativity father god like it's something about the winter time where you just get to come in the house snuggle up watch some football you know eat some good food have some laughter drink a little eggnog you know it's like we feeling it we loving it father god so we just thank you for just keeping us in a happy element right now father god we carry this on into the new year anything that needs to be left here in 2020 is definitely going to be left because we are definitely going to 2021 with all of the fun and all of the love father god so we thank you so much for just you know giving us clarity and vision with that sun card thank you so much for illuminating everything that we needed to see father god and helping us feel comfort and safe and warmth in our own home and our lives and you know our laughter and our happiness and our joy father god we say amen Give us guidance for the sign of Aries for December 2020. Show me the money. And thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons on our path that we take steps on every day. And all of the future blessings that are laid ahead. Father God, we thank you. Amen. All right. Let's get into this, Aries. All right. All right. We're reloading. Let's see what we got. Okay. All right. All right. Mm. Okay. All right. All righty. Aries. Child, I had one of my Aries friends call me the other day. Talking about, uh, what's been going on in Aries? It's been some shit going on. And, uh, what's been going on in Aries? I'm like, boy, you always think somebody doing something to you or somebody trying to get you. Ain't nobody trying to get you, boy. Shut up. <laughs> like, he say, I swear, like, if you, you would swear someone is trying to attack and trying to get this man. Ain't nobody messing with that damn boy. 
So let me see what's going on with the Aries. Let me see what y'all worried about. Because I'm trying to tell you when I was just doing my prayer, it seems like a lot of you Aries are feeling comfortable. Y'all feeling blessed and prayed up. I ain't got no negative energy around y'all at all. So... Because I haven't been feeling no negative energy. Not not, not no negative energy that y'all are not aware of and y'all can't handle. I'm definitely going to say that. Okay? One thing about an Aries, an Aries will get you two and through together, honey. Okay, now? <laughs> you want to be... That is not the sign that you want to be after you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like I said, I am reloaded. Okay, that is, that is Aries. Okay, I reload it. Where you at? <laughs> Aries gonna get you. That is not the one to be messing with. Ooh, yes, Lord. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I, I hear you. I hear you. Um, the urge to sing. Um, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. I just don't like that verse. That's why I don't like to sing that damn verse. I do not like singing that verse. I'm not going to sing that verse. Alright, so like, only thing I'm going to say is like what I'm kind of getting is like, there's somebody that possibly may have a sexual addiction to something or somebody that's not good for them and it's like they know it and but it's like at the same time it's like they are constantly struggling to like defeat the energy and the urge and a desire and the want to like go towards it you know what I'm saying in the person and it's like you know And I just and again, like I'm I'm just hearing like that situation may be bigger than you are. I feel like like God may have to take that one away from you because it's just like you know how because I've definitely I've I've had a situation with the Aries that's like that. You know what I'm saying? That um one of my exes that I was so in love with him too was it Aries and sometimes the people be like oh yeah Aries and Scorpios don't mix like some of my best relationships and my deepest friendships like even if we were not together intimately we kept a very good friendship you know what I'm saying like with Aries so like Scorpios and Aries they definitely have um good friendships and stuff like that but um child, I can't even remember where the hell I was even going with this shit my brain is all over the place. Let me just calm my thoughts down real quick. Good job. How oh, But what I was about to say, um, from what I remember, like from my connections with uh, Aries. Aries, um, you don't think about it, or you probably wouldn't think it. They're very emotional creatures, and like, are very vocal emotionally. Like, I don't know why you you really wouldn't think it, but the Aries that I've been involved with, like, they are 
whatever they feeling, like, they're going to let you know. Like, they're not going to, like, you just not going to do anything. And, like, whatever they feeling, like, they're not going to hide it. You're going to see it, you know? You got to choose your battles. So, that's like the Seven of Wands right there. But it looks like you staying in your position. Like, you're not backing down. Like, <laughs> you would definitely stand in your position and you are not backing down. So, choose your battles. Oh, okay. So, this is what I was saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I've had a connection with an Aries before that was like so deep because that was like my best friend first. So it was so hard for um, me to walk away from it. And it was like an addiction because the sex was like so amazing too. But it was like when it's good, it's good. But when it goes bad, it goes bad, you know. And it... You know, like it says, little precious has a natural obsession for temptation that he just can't see. She gives him loving that his body can't handle, but all he can say is, baby, it's good to me. Now, I ain't about to go no deeper into that damn verse, because I don't like that verse, and I don't like that video, y'all. But, um... It, it, it's just basically saying it's like when you have a connection with someone that is so passionate and so deep but it's like so based on the sexual desire and sexual intimacy but outside of that everything else is just so friction worthy you know what I'm saying that you know that sexual addiction that temptation that lust that desire and then the fact that you used to talking to someone every day they feel like like, there's no one else in the world that you can have that connection with. It's, like, so hard to release and walk away from situations like that. And it's, like, sometimes you be really thinking that it's the love. I love this person. I love this person. And really, it's not. It's the sex. You know what I'm saying? It's the, it's a, it's the sex. You know what I'm saying? So, like, pay attention to what be keeping the situation thriving, especially if it's something toxic and it's something that really has you know, gone past his test of time, pay attention to what it is to keep you connected to that person and choose your battles. Choose your battles because not all battles are worth fighting and trying to reclaim the victory over because you might win that battle, but you might lose the war. Pay attention to what you're fighting for. So let's get into this, Aries. Let's hope for a good card. We got the journey card. We got the journey card here. So to me, this is like the two of wands, right? This is you making the decision to move on. And I feel like you're taking your time. There's no rush. There's no pressure to pack the bags. Um, I feel like you're just trying to find a, find a safe place and to choose correctly where you're going. I don't think that for any second that you will plan that you're planning to stay in this picture. But there's something delaying this journey. There's something keeping you. There's something you're waiting for. There's something that you're still thinking about. Um, and I still feel sometimes you go back and forth about if you want to leave or not. You know, some days things are good and you'll think about staying and then the next day shit is like it's always been and you just ready to pack up and leave any day now. So it's like you need to come to terms about this transition and what you want to do with yourself and what's best for you and if you want to stay or if you want to go. Um, but it seems like spirit is trying to nudge you and edge you towards this journey. It just seems like. You're having a hard time strapping up your shoes and getting on the good foot and getting on your way to go. You're at a crossroads. It's time for you to make a decision. Let's see here. We got the hangman. I told you you hung up. It's like a refusal 
to remove yourself of refusal to see but at the same time God has kind of put you in a different position where you can see things at a different angle even if you're still in the thick of it even if you're still in the thick of it I think you're able to see things a lot differently than the way that you used to you're looking at things from the angle of what if I wasn't here anymore maybe the grass is greener on the other side you know what I'm saying maybe I could sit on the other side of the table and not always on this side of the table you know it's like finally you want to be sitting at the head of the table in the big chair like not always I, they said like always sit in the dunce position. You know what I'm saying? It's like I feel like someone is constantly getting chastised. Someone is constantly being belittled. You know? Feeling like I'm not making a positive use of myself. Like that's what I feel like someone is, is dealing with. Like there's someone sitting at the head of the table and there's someone sitting at the far end at the dunce position with the dunce. Like, I'm not even at the table. Like, they're sitting in the corner <laughs> with in a chair with the dunce hat while everybody else is sitting down and stuff being scalded. And again, like, they just said, I don't know how long I can stay in this position. I'm not a child. Like, that is what this person just told me. I don't know how long I can stay in this position, and I'm not a child. I can't see me going out this way again. So, this person is most definitely seeing things a lot clearly. Um, they're, they're, they're spending a lot more time to their self within their mind, within their thoughts. You know, um, even if y'all are in the same house, you... you I'm hearing that like, y'all spend a lot of time in the bathroom. Like you just, you're not even doing nothing. Like you just thinking, you know what I'm saying? You just taking long showers. And then after that might just go in there and sit on the toilet and just might play on your phone and just kind of just want, it's just like peaceful, peaceful, just finding little ways to just get some peace. So you can think, think about the situation. Think about what you want. Think about where you're going and where you see your life being headed. You got the ace of spades. That's the death. That's transformation. And then you got the star seed. So listen. You got the death card. And then you got the star seed. What lights you up? So again, like I told you, this is the hangman. You guys are going within. You're thinking about yourself. You're thinking about what's lighting you up. Where do you want your life to look like moving forward you got the ace of spades that's the death that means endings like something that just suddenly it just needs to change not wanting to repeat a cycle ready to shed old skins ready to feel refreshed renewed rebirthed re-earthed you know look at this person sitting there you see how this person is sitting there looking out to the stars and the galaxies and you know Manifesting the future, thinking about positive growth, thinking about. Remember how I said I can't see I can't see me going out like this, like this is not how I pictured my life. I can't see me going out like this. This is like you having an out of body experience where God snatched you away so that you could just sit up there and look at yourself going through this experience to, to, to see what the fuck you doing and you like yeah what the fuck am I doing <laughs> you know what I'm saying what the fuck am I doing I'm a star seed I'm not meant to be in this situation where do I see my focus where do I see my heart fluctuating towards now like listen what lights you up what gets you going what gets your heart thriving Thank God for those moments that you've been stealing to yourself so that you can think. It says upheaval, obstruction, barriers, obstacles, misfortune, unpleasant news, panic, conflicts, finalization, completion, secrets revealed. Seeing all the facts. Being unbiased. Analyze your situation. Use logic, intelligence. Don't allow anything to stop you. Get to the heart of the matter. Address the root of the problem. You will rise again. Step up. Act now. That is what this card means 
from this deck. However, let me give you the Ace of Spades in a, in a different form. The Ace of Spades traditionally is the death card, but rarely a physical death. The death meaning a death and a rebirth. The end and a new beginning, transformation, a major life change, the skull, the mind, an important decision that brings change, worry, and anxiety. So again, like I said, you guys are in a crossroads right now. You should be feeling a little positive and, you know... I feel like quick movement about this journey, but there's stag there is stagnation, there is blockage. Like there is something that as soon as you pick up and you're ready to move towards these new beginnings, you still sit there and allow yourself to be hung up, fondling with a decision. That's why this was in the reverse, and I don't know why I keep putting it in the upright. It's, I mean, because I want you guys to make a decision, but I have to honor the cards the way that they've been set. All right? So let's see what's been keeping you in this position. We got the Ten of Pentacles. So what's been keeping you in this position? I feel like you're in a stable environment. There is a sense of family. I don't feel like it's your own family, though. Um... I don't feel like this is your own family, though. And I don't like her face. I don't like her face. I don't like the energy of the people in the cars of this family. I feel like these people are stuck up and a little bougie. They act a little uptight or something like that. I don't feel like this is your traditional family, but they're wealthy and they take good care of themselves. And it seems like they've been taking care of you, but I don't think that you want them to take care of you anymore. You've been thinking about leaving this structured family environment. Let's see. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Listen. Trust your path. I know that you have. This is someone that is just really ready to let go. Trust your path. If you knew. If you walked away from this security, from this family, but you would be able to walk into your own state of existence and security. If you knew you were protected and you were on the right path. What would you do? Really, what would you do? Because truly, what's keeping you here is the security of this family unit. But you want your own. You want your own. You want your own. You want your ten of pentacles. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Can y'all put that in the chat right now? If you knew that you were being supported, what would you do? Then you got the queen of clubs. Again, if you knew, listen, if you knew that you was going to be supported and you were still going to come out the Queen of Clubs, the Queen of Clubs is basically the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands mixed up all in one. Very beautiful, very tenacious, a goal getter, an entrepreneur, a very good cook, a family woman. Do you understand? <laughs> Oh my gracious. This says an attractive woman, dark hair, sociable, independent, self assured, strong, confident, outgoing, flirtatious, sensual, feminine, passionate lover, very sexual, creative, playful, indulges in gossips, entertains drama, temperamental, attracts others easily, secretive. <laughs> So this, again, this is like a mixture of the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles energy. So if you just trust your journey and, again, stop hanging out in this situation, you understand that you're a star seed. You're trying to think about what lights you up. You already made your mind that you need this transition. It clearly seems like you're not happy about something, and I really want to see where that is going on, why and what's going on. And we're going to definitely see what matters of the heart are going on here. So, number one, I want to see 
you guys got Elizabeth Taylor. And I just shuffled the fuck out of this deck. Who else just got this shit? I want to say, was it Gemini? It says, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. You can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even bigger fan of diamonds. True friends last longer than marriage. However many times you marry. Again, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. You can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even, an even bigger fan of diamonds. True friends last longer than marriage. However many times you marry. Elizabeth Taylor. And again, she's the vixen. She's the vixen that you're fixing on. They're saying that she's the vixen that you're fixing on. I want to say that you're playing the friend. Are you playing the friend? Are you playing the friend to her? Hmm. I kind of want to get another card because Jim and I just had that card. But I shuffled the day. I shuffled. I definitely did. So listen. Give me one more energy here. I definitely feel like the feminine energy here. You guys are questioning. This is a male energy here. Or it could be a female energy. I definitely feel like there is a male energy that's questioning uh, whether or not they can make a journey and move forward towards this Elizabeth T Taylor person. They feel like they already have security where they're at with the Queen of Pentacles. But I feel like this one only really wants friendship here. And you don't mind being a friend. Really? Because this just came out for... <laughs> that just came out in the other reading I just did. And then Jacqueline Kennedy came out. It says, always be the first lady. Marry for love, for money, but most of all for companionship. Don't just take the picture. Enter it. Again, Jacqueline Qu Kennedy. Always be the first lady. Marry for love. For money, but most of all for companionship. Don't just take the picture, enter it. So, what this is basically telling me here this is the person that, first of all, her commitment is to herself. She's first. She comes first, <laughs> most and first of all, and she's committed to herself. She lives a very comfortable life of luxury, and her life revolves around that. Um, this woman could be extremely attractive. Look, Jack, Jackie Kennedy and Elizabeth Taylor, two very, very beautiful women. Very high in status. Um... Very sociable, self-assured, and strong, and confident, and outgoing. Um, these women are not quitters. So, I don't feel like you could just move towards these type of women without lavishing them in diamonds and some type of status of the first of being on the news it's like these women these two women is like they want to make front page news with you or they want to be um like the it couple or something like there is no secrets it's no you can't come at them half stepping because they want the best of it they want to be seen they want to be glamorous they want to live it all you understand so um 
and this woman here I feel like their life their lifestyle is fast it's you know what I'm saying they have a lot going for themselves so it they might not be that easy to catch and if you do catch them they want the whole kit and caboodle like they want everything you can't come at them half stepping I feel like this is some this the star seed card right here in this this here the ace of spades I want to say that this is something that you've been dreaming wishing asking the galaxy and the stars and just like praying over this like this could be what's lighting you up you can still be hung up over this person whoever this Elizabeth Taylor Jackety Kennedy you know that this person wants their self more than they want you so you cannot come at them half stepping because they got a lot of shit going on and you got to come at this person correct period so there's someone that is hesitant on making this journey towards this queen of pentacles this queen of um of 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 clubs this queen of wands because this person wants the ten of pentacles they want it all they want it all um period and they're not going to stand for anything less than that like honestly if you go into the picture, what it said, don't just take the picture, enter it. So, like, don't just come and take pictures with me unless you really about to enter. You know, I write, look, because I have friends. I have, like, I have, I have things that I'm doing. So, if you, if you gonna come over here like that, then you need to give me the Ten of Pentacles, like, bar, look, <laughs> period. And that's on period. So, let's see what we got going on with Miss Elizabeth Taylor. So, we got the mask. Not showing your true feelings, um, hiding, personifying, pretending, deluding, gaslighting. So someone is hiding a mask here. What do we got? The house with the king of hearts and the number four. Uh, what is this here? The three of swords. Ooh. So I feel like someone's hiding here that they already are in like a commitment. They already have like a home situation going on. They definitely have a home situation going on. They could be playing the friend role right now because they're constantly hung up in a situation. Definitely hung up in a situation. This could be someone that you used to be fuck buddies with. I feel like this is someone that you used to be fuck buddies with because you're hesitant about making a journey towards this person because like what do you have to give her? Like y'all are just friends so like if you coming around like what we about to do? We about to do something. We about to go somewhere. We about to go to a party. We hanging out. Like what we doing? Oh because if you're talking about that other shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like, I'm going to be the first lady. I'm going to be it. That's it. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, like, you just broski woski. <laughs> like, you brody. You brody. Like, this one, it like, in the friend zone, like, you in the friend zone. And you, like, trying to tell her, like, don't so run so fast where you can't be caught. And she's like, I'm a big fan of marriage, but I'm an even bigger fan of diamonds. Now, listen, it's like there's, there, there's only two sides to this person. You being a, a friend or being a lover. Like, if you're going to be a lover, like, you, you have to be in a position to love her, period. True friends last longer than the marriage, no matter how many times you marry. So it's like, I'm cool with the friendship. Because if you can't, if you can't, if we can't make the front page news with each other, then I don't want it. Like, bottom line, always be the first lady. Married for love, for money, but most of all, companionship. Don't just take the picture, answer it. Like, I want you to be my friend, my family, but most of all, like, I want you to be my lover, my confidant, like, 
just everything, everything, everything. I want us to make the front page news because I want people to make us their goddamn couple goals, you know? Because people should want to be like this. Like, I married my best friend. That's something that'll last, you know what I'm saying? But, mm -mm. I feel like this person knows that um, either they will come to you empty-handed because they already have a situation at home where it's going to be very hard for them to get out of this home situation. That's why they're not showing their whole face to you. They don't come all of the time when they say that they're going to. They're, they, they, It's like they're hiding something. You know what I'm saying? Something that they can't let go of. Something that they're not telling you. You know what I'm saying? Because this Three of Swords right here, I feel like this person is still holding a mask and still hiding the fact that they have a commitment elsewhere. This is the King of Hearts with the number four in the house. Yeah. Because they will be coming to you out of a Three of Swords situation. And I don't think that you want to do that. That's why I'm saying choose your battles wisely. Look, choose your battles wisely. Because I feel like you could end up severing this relationship with your friend. And you already know how this friend is going. You could currently still be hung up in a situation and not showing this person how you truly feel about them. Let's continue to go. We got the solar plexes. So what this is, this is like, you need to figure out what you want to do. And so that energy can just like fluctuate through your whole body and it can tell your whole body to work and your whole system could work on full and you operating on a full tank because if you don't know what you're doing like you just creating madness because when you're walking around with a mask and you hiding secrets and this person don't even have any idea who you truly going home to but it's like because I do get is someone trying to have like a secret love affair with a friend or something like that. But he knows behind it. She's she's Jackie Kennedy. Like she's not. You know what I'm saying? She's your friend. But she'll quickly turn into the Jackie Kennedy type of thing like that. I feel like you should preserve your friendship. Because it's, it's hard to catch her. But when you catch her. She's a big friend of marriage and, and die, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you shouldn't even step her away from her. What's this right here? This is the temperance. So, yeah, I feel like you shouldn't even step her away until you full, fully made a decision on what you want to do, where you go. I need you to have, like, serious focus in life. I need you to be really balanced. Um... You know, like, prayer-wise and faith-wise and standard-wise and vision-wise, like, you really need to make your mind up and take the mask off and wash your hands of this situation if that's what you need to do and have a clean home for this person. You know what I'm saying? Have your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, your own home. Because it's like... You can't invite someone into someone else's home and think that they're going to stay put. Like, you got to have a foundation. You got to have something that you stand for. You have to constantly, like, regenerate your faith in yourself and that you can release yourself from this and you can let go. Because it seems like in the beginning, it's someone that realized that they're hung up in something they understand that they're the star seat. They're trying to figure out what it is that they want. What lights their life up. Because they want to transition. They want to move on to something different. They want their own ten of pentacles. You know. If they knew that they were going to get this queen of, 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 of clubs. If they knew that they were uh, uh, protected and guided on this. And that they were going to obtain her. Regardless of what they came from. 
if they took that mask off, told this person the truth, if they know that they can go from friends to first page lovers, would this person still stagnate their self and do it? You know, it's like they got to balance their self and they got to trust in faith and believe who they are and their vision and what they're trying to do. And if that's really what you're trying to do, take that positive step forward. But you need to come at this person without this mask on and you need to be honest. And you really got to know what you want to do and what you want to do. And please choose your battles because if you come at this, I feel like this is a very fragile thing because if you come at this the wrong way, you could fuck up a friendship forever where you, you really can't go back. You know, and that's why I feel like you're, you're stuck and it's like, oh God, Jesus Christ, hold on. Probably ain't no fucking body exactly. So let's see. The golden mirror, oh my gracious. The sickle, oh my gosh. And then the Queen of Cups. So, the golden mirror in the sickle. So, the golden mirror says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. And then the sickle. So, and this is the number 10. And then you got the Queen of Cups. So, you could be dealing with a water sign woman, Aries. You could be dealing with a water sign woman here. This could be the mother of your child. Because um, you see that she has a child here. So, you know... You can have a little girl with this person, or this could be you, Aries women, needing to cut someone out. Needing to cut someone out and make a transition, because you're trying to think about why you're still hung up in this situation. What does God want you to see? This is a one-sided situation. I have confirmation of new prosperous things coming. Listen, if I trust it in my path, you know, if I trusted in my path, this woman here, it seems like she could want financial security, longevity, financial freedom for her and her family and her kids, all of her life endeavors, all of her passions, all of her goals, you know, coming into fruition. Her beauty shining and everything and everything that she does. You understand? Coming out of heart pain and, 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 and people sabotaging and betraying her. Like really getting over that. Finally bringing love into her house. In a sense of stability. You know? Hopefully, eventually being able to take this mask off. Finding love balance. You know? Looks like this person is trying to cut out one-sided relationships. People that really don't mean them any good. Trying to open up new doors to positive communication of growth. You know? You got to cut out the old to get to the new. And it looks like the old was one-sided situation. So this could be a single mother. It's like you're trying to cut this cycle out. Not only for you, but for your children. It's like you really want your children to be raised in a happy home, like a real stable environment, you know? So if this is you, ladies, like you definitely are cutting, your, you're cutting yourself out of this one-sided situation. And you're going somewhere else. But I... I to me, it seems like you're waiting on some type of communication here because the Jack of Diamonds is like positive communication. Like this could be like a job offer or um, this could even be like a, a, a loan or apartment. Um, mm, I don't really look at diamonds as it could be a vehicle because um it could be like a car loan because because diamonds are like possessions or something like that it's like you know material things so this could be very much be like you are waiting on something so that you can get down from this position because it's most definitely a fucked up position that it could be it could be Money. It could be something that you need to travel, ladies. 
I don't know if y'all are waiting for a car loan or um, some type of money advancement or something that could get you started on this journey. But again, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? If you was to jump out there now, if you knew that you would be supported and that you would get your Ten of Pentacles regardless, like what would you do? What would you do? Hmm. For my men, I'm going back to y'all real quick. Because I definitely feel like they got some little friendship with some girl here. Oh, y'all not about to play. Y'all is not about to play with her like that. Y'all is not about to play. Because y'all just called this woman a name and I'm not even about to do that. <laughs> so, cause they was like the little scallywag. Why y'all call her a little scallywag? Now, but Elizabeth Taylor is giving me some little scallywag material. She is giving me some scallywag energy right here. But at the end of the day, when she's single, shit, she ready to mingle, shit. Like I said, true friends last longer than marriage. However many times you get married. Like, it don't matter how many times you get married. Like, true friends always going to be there. So, I feel like this is some woman that's always, like, in the background somewhere. It could be this person's baby mama or something. It could be. Could very much so be. I feel like someone is getting cut. Like she's cutting someone out here. She's cutting someone out here. She's cutting someone out. Because she could be wearing a mask with you. She could be wearing a mask with you right now. For real, for real. And really not showing you her true feelings about you. Because she wants a true king in her home. She wants a king of heart, someone that is romantic, loving, extremely generous, poetic, good cook, like massages feet, like does all of that shit. You, you, you are too much of Brody for, for her to ever look at you as anything other than a fucking friend. And then I feel like you might have broke her heart before and it might have taken her a long time to get over it. So it's like once you've already put me in a position where I've had to cut you out and open up the door, you know, for new, you know, more solid, you know, advancers for more solid suitors. It's like I'm confident in myself and my position where I'm at with my kid and how things are with you. Um, like I, I see things a different way now, you know what I'm saying? Like if it wasn't for the fact that we had this seclusion, I might, I might have never seen this. So it's like, you know, I'm okay with this transforming, you know, like I, I'm okay. It might be a reason why this woman isn't moving forward with you. She may not be telling you about it because she's scared for you to come into her home. She's balanced now. Y'all will always be friends regardless of how many people come in her life or come into your life. She just feels like this is a one-sided situation with you. Like, this is something that she feels and she knows. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she knows that. And that's why she's standing up for herself and she is, like, choosing her battles with you. To just breathe. So, you know, this is like the four swords in the reverse to me. So... Again, I feel like this person has already thought about this. I don't feel like she's allowing this to stress her out. And I don't think that you should allow it to stress you out as well. Um, I feel like you spoke your side and she spoke her side. Like you know what this person's position is and where she stands on and her standard of life. She wants it all. If you're not in a predicament to give it to her. And again, if... You are still hung up and deciding if you want to stay or go and you still in limbo in some other situation where you ain't going to do nothing but stretch the wound in her already broken heart where, you know, you already hurt this person before. Like, yeah, you are wearing a mask with her, but she's wearing a mask with you too. Like, you know, it's like, I don't really feel like she would waste her time because I feel like she's been enjoying herself with new friends and things like that and she's okay with you being in the friend zone she's okay with however this relationship has transitioned what does it say it's the well deserved reward in the reverse so what is this is this the nine of wands in the reverse so again i don't um 
I don't feel like I don't feel like you're going to get what you're looking for. Like, to me, this is almost like, even though I really do not think that this is the, um, what this, because I'm getting wands here. I'm getting wands. I don't think that you're going to get this woman to let her guard down, bruh. She's very she's she's very confident. She's stable. She's emotionally secure in her life right now. I feel like the reason why things ended up the way that they did was was, was for a reason. You know, like y'all are better off as friends. You you know, um you guys are better off as friends. And I want to say for the for the person Okay, so let me get some additional guidance for the person because I do feel like there's a man here that is currently stuck in a situation that he wants to get down and get out of. Um, but they have to go within and figure out what it is that lights you up, what you really want. You know what I'm saying? You're in this position for a reason is to transform to transform you. So it's like don't stagnate your journey. You have a particular fancy for the type of woman that you want in your life. Um and clearly there's a friend that you definitely feel like would be the correct suit, would be the proper fit. But you have to find proper balance in your life to, in order to even attract that. You do want your own ten of pentacles. I feel like you're currently, you currently possess the ten of pentacles, but you want to leave it. You know, you're going back and forth between this if you want to go through this journey or not. And you do need to trust your path. Because if you knew you were supported and protected, what would you do? You know? It clearly seems like that you desire someone that you are attracted to. I mean, someone is very attractive. A go get it. It can make you smile just saying that you're this person's friend. But again, you're scared to walk away. You're scared to walk away, Aries. Why is this person scared to walk away, Father God? Please give me guidance here. Okay. Oh, goodness. Goodness. i seen that sixth chakra. So, this is the sixth chakra right here. This is like the... There's it. This is like the... This is the third eye chakra. This is like the gift of sight. So, it's like... You're delaying walking away because I feel like you already foresee in the future that this situation isn't going to make it. Like, it's just not going to make it. It's not going to make it. It's not going to be able to hold on. I feel like there's a... Um, there's been a lot already done here. Like this person is already advanced. They're self past you. I, and I'm not trying to make it seem like no type of way. But like this energy right here. She wants the world. So at any point a time. If there was a one sided. Narcissist self absorbed. <laughs> There was always a third party love bomb in this situation. There was someone lying and having a mask on about who they go home to and things like. I, I don't I, I don't see. Mm -mm. You know that you shouldn't leave where you where you have because I definitely feel. You would be leaving someone destitute because, like, you already have the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you already have it. You already see that. It's the, it's like it's like someone hung up on a fantasy. It's like a fantasy about the baby mother or a fantasy about the friend. It could be a fantasy about a few people. I don't fucking know. I definitely feel like if someone hung up with a fantasy in their mind about them trying to get a well-deserved reward elsewhere. Where they, I want to say that they already got it at home. Um, again, you got the Blossom Abundance 
card. So what that is telling me, it's like you got everything thriving and already growing beautifully around you. It's just like you have to figure out how to appreciate what you currently have and create around it, create within it. Like you already, the, the Ten of Pentacles, you already have it. Look, it says the door to personal healing and happiness. This is in the reverse. You already have the shit around you. It's for whatever reason you're not allowing yourself to heal from something. Because it's like you have, you have, I told you, y'all already got the Ten of Pentacles. So why in the hell would you want to leave that? I feel like someone is going to make like a fatal, stupid ass decision. Because I feel like you hung up on somebody and this person is hung up on somebody else. And, or she's just too confident to walk into a dumb situation anyway. Because the three of swords is in the reverse here. Having this person don't forgive you or won't forget about what happened in the past. And they just look at you as a friend. Or you're coming to them with a mask on with some bullshit. And you're going to fuck up something. Um, but you got the angel of love and you definitely have the man holding the heart. So there is someone that is most definitely in love here. Most definitely in love here. But you don't want to walk away because you know that it's a bad decision. Like you know that it would be a bad decision. You already have blossom in abundance. You just have to find a way to find happiness and healing where you are. I just, ugh, I don't know. Uh, let me get some additional guidance and we're going to get up out of here, Aries. I'm just all up in y'all business, y'all. <laughs> Let's see. We got the temperance in reverse. I feel like you, you like, okay. Uh, Okay. I'm getting that song, um, I'm Not Okay from um, her. It's like, okay, it goes, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm losing my faith. I'm slipping away. It's, 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 it's like this person is like, their heart is so open. And they feel like love is surrounded around them, but at the same time, it's like they're losing faith every day and love that things will get better. It's like this person, this man, his heart is open. He really wants to give his heart to the person of his desire, but he's losing faith that it'll ever like truly come or be able to, you know, come the way that come together the way that this person sees it um it's like how could i ever be with this person wants me to be it's like this person wants me to be this this angel um like this perfect person it's like i don't know how it's like you this person is kind of losing faith in their position them able to obtain this victory or whatever and they're not sure of themselves that they could ever play this position other than just giving the heart. The Queen of Pentacles and the reverse. Again, I feel like you're not walking away from a situation. Because remember I said that you would be leaving someone destitute? You can't, this person cannot walk or just walk away from the current situation that they're in because they will be leaving the person that they're currently with destitute. Their whole financial situation would change and they know that and they would feel really guilty. They would feel really guilty. Tell me what's going on at this current blossom and abundance that is so difficult for this Aries to find happiness in. What's going on here? Because it's something, even though there's stability in the home, there's not healing there. 
there's not happiness there. So what's going on in this home? It says the Eight of Pentacles. Things are not working together. And then there's someone with the unwillingness to work. There is like literally someone doing all the work on their own. And the other person is doing nothing. It's not balanced. It's someone that is like literally just sitting around. The Eight of Pentacles is like someone that really don't give a shit about their reputation. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so what if I'm a bum? I just mm, living off of people and just, you know, I'm going to play my position or whatever. You know, so it's either that or it's the female that's like that in this situation. But the Eight of Pentacles is someone that this situation is just not working. There's not someone willing to work or put the effort and the energy in. There's no proper standard of living um like even like the home environment is like could be dilapidated things could be falling apart um y'all might be going to like a, a bad um construction worker or something to get work done on the house like they really don't know what they're doing and just like everything is just like falling apart um the ace of swords it's like Like honesty, you gotta respect the truth here. Um, there's someone with an unwillingness to work. Um, I feel like they're laying around being a couch slob while there's someone else that's tiredly working their ass off. Um, it could be the female that's just laying around, and because the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is like an unstable mother, um, you know, someone that can't do things on their own that need assistance then you got the lovers here so there's definitely I definitely feel like there's a love triangle I definitely feel like there's a person that's in love with two people give me guidance on this queen of pentacles please give me guidance on her not walking away because you feel like there would be some type of struggle in this person's life in some type of way. Um, yeah, the three of wands. So, um, the three of wands, again, you're not walking away because you're not sure if you walk away if things would really get better, you know? Um, or if you're going to attract more people just like this. So it's like someone has like a pessimistic type of mentality. It's like I could be walking out of the frying pan into the fire. So it's like I better just stay here or whatever and help her with her kids or, you know, something. It's having you staying by and helping her. Helping her because you know if you leave that things won't be the same for this person. And it's like you would be feeling guilty. Yeah. That's why you don't know if you want to go on this journey. And it's just, I feel like you're just waiting to see if things will get better so you don't have to go. It's like you really want to give your heart out to this other situation. But I want to say you really don't even have no faith in it anyway. It's like y'all just destined to be friends. But I feel like you do have like some like secret love for this friend. Or it's like somebody you have this secret love for. But you just... And I feel like you're in a relationship that you're not really happy in. I don't know. Like this, this is ever. It's like you're in a relationship that you're not happy in. Either you're still in love with your baby mother over here, this Queen of Cups, and she is completely over you because it was a one sided situation, and you still secretly hold something in your heart here. And the shit that you got going on ain't working. 
and you feel like you're between the two, yeah, the five of wands in the reverse. So it's like trying to lessen the argument. Um, it's like willing to uh, agree to disagree. It's like, all right, you feel this way about me. I feel this way about you. We just see things differently. And we're just going to keep things where they are. Um, I feel like that's why things are not journeying and moving forward. Because it's like whoever this man is feel like they can't outweigh the competition. Like in regards to this baby mother. Whoever this person is that cut them out and everything like that. And they still got this other shit going on. They can't outweigh the competition anyway. So that's why it's like they really love this person. But it's like they don't have any faith in the situation. They don't have any trust. Um, that's why they didn't cut the other person out. Because the other person may sit around and deal with their bullshit. With them not working or you know like them half ass trying to work shit out or whatever. And I feel like someone has this like. Love, the secret love for someone in their head and they're choosing their battles. Again, the Empress. This could be someone that they feel like is very beautiful and they if they could, they could make them up they would make them the mother of their child. Or this person make the three of pentacles. No. It's not. It's she's not. She's not. She is not. So again, so if this, I feel like this person could still be in love with the mother of their child, the empress. Like I said, whoever this woman is with this baby, she cut you out. I feel like she cut you out a long time ago and y'all are just friends. Like y'all are just friends. Like she's not going to surrender. She's not going to let her guard down. Because I feel like it's like your unwillingness to work or... Pull yourself up to a certain standard with this Eight of Pentacles. It's like you still be giving like half ass work or something like that. And she's not going to tolerate that. But this other one will. Even though you're not satisfied and you're thinking about walking away. But don't walk away and come over here because I'm not going to take this. So you might as well just keep that shit right where it's at. You understand? And I feel like this one over here is might be expecting something anyway because she has friends you know what i'm saying so don't be surprised if this one has some type of expectancy that she might announce um soon anyway like i told you it's like you like you can't outbeat the competition and you don't you don't feel confident in this shit anyway you know so this temperance here i feel like you really just need to balance yourself and like replenish your faith in yourself because I feel like you got more serious things to pay attention to you know because in the beginning I was really getting it was like someone wanted the ten of pentacles for themselves it was like I've been secluded I'm, I was really getting someone sitting in their bathroom spending a lot of time to themselves and everything because they were thinking about getting the ten of pentacles of their own but it's like you got to put in the work you got to go to work you got to do the things that you need to do to make things work and in regards to this empress that you love right here you love, 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 love this person. She's beautiful. She's the mother of your kids. She's the best thing that you ever think that you've seen since sliced bread. Don't know why you did this to her at all. But that's neither said nor there. But the three of pentacles in the reverse. She is not willing to work things out with you. Period. Like, especially based on... The current situation that you're sitting yourself. You still ain't doing nothing to make things work for yourself. So why would you think that you would bring that energy to me? You, you don't even want to get a job. Like you don't even want to come to me with anything with a certain stand of quality. Like you might 
buy me fake purses and fake jewelry and think I'm gonna get excited about it. Do it look listen, where where did you do it look like Elizabeth Taylor like fake costumes store jewelry or kiosk jewelry or stuff? You better go to Jared's or somebody. You better go find um <laughs> Look, you better go find one of them rapper. Uh, no, don't even give me no rapper jewelry because that shit fake too. Excuse you, like what? Like no, this one back here be giving me the real shit. Excuse you. So it's like it's not going to work out. She's not willing to work with you. She feels like you still haven't learned anything. You're not trying to learn anything. Like she going to take care of the kid. Like. That's why you're not, that's why you have refused to walk away. Because I really feel like you, who the person that you, const, you, you constantly dealing with right now, you will leave them in a bad situation. Now, I don't know what this not working or something like that. I don't know if it's like. Because the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that's not focusing on her environment. Someone's not focusing on her stability. Someone that's not focusing on her well-being. So it doesn't necessarily have to do with she couldn't financially be okay with you. Because clearly whoever this is, this person is sitting in the Ten of Pentacles. But if you walk away. To go chase a pipe dream. You know intuitively. That this girl would not. Be able to focus on. Where she's going. And like everything would just fall apart. Like she would just be sitting there. Waiting waiting for you to come back. And not. It's like a transfer of negative energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just transfer of fucked up ass energy. This Aries, I don't run my mouth too fucking much. I gotta go. I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. If y'all need additional guidance, y'all should shit. Y'all shit. Y'all should shit. Y'all should have got goddamn guidance from this already. But if you need additional guidance, y'all know what to do. Hit me up on Instagram or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Peace.